And Leanne Ellington is joining us now to tell us how to get that beach body, right? Absolutely. <laughs> well, you can't get the beach body if you're in pain. So today we're going to actually <laughs> talk about core stability and how to keep our spine mobile and functional and uh, keep our back from going out. But and you're also going to tell us how to get that six, six pack, pack because right? that's what we want to know, right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. We will. We'll get to that as well. <laughs> exactly. Okay. All right. What have we got? Um, well, basically our core moves in many different ways. And when people think about the core, they just think about the, the tummy or the abs. And there's a lot more that goes into it. There's actually your lower back, um, mm -hmm. your transverse abdominus, which is the muscle that actually stabilizes you. So anytime you're sitting upright or standing or sitting in a chair, you're using that stabilization muscle. Well, if it goes and it's not strong enough, you can actually, you're more prone to injury. And therefore, you're not equipped to be able to get those exercises in that will give you that flexibility. Okay, stomach. so we're All thinking right. about how we look. And you have, you know, very practical advice <laughs> exactly. about how to stay strong. But, which but is whatever what you, motivates you, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, it's the ability to stay functional. We want to yes. be, you know, doing our, our hobbies and, and staying active yeah. until we're 97,000 years old. So you have an okay. exercise for us, right? I do. Absolutely. Okay. Well, it's called a plank. It's also called a four-way bridge. And what it does is it activates your transverse abdominus, which is the mm -hmm. stabilization muscle, which will keep your spine healthy and stable. Uh, if you if you maintain it, okay. so, what so I'll you're, do? you're going to demonstrate we, exactly. We no you guys are going to be the peanut story. gallery. Okay? Are you going to get down in your I skirt as well? No, exactly. No. I have done this before, and Lewis obviously has not because he was just asking me. Does that really work? He's asking yeah. you actually. Does that really work? Because okay. I see people doing this, and I think, okay, is that really doing yeah. anything? But if you absolutely. Have not done well, it? I, your homework after this will be when you're not <laughs> wearing a skirt or a suit to go home yeah, and no try it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so the main thing is we want to make sure that our body is directly against gravity. Gravity, okay? okay, gravity is the weight in this particular exercise. All right, okay. so what you're going to do is you're going to you can get on your forearms. I'll show you the pr the progress version, and then I'll regress it. Okay. You're getting on your feet and your forearms. Head is neutral. Spine is in alignment. Okay. You want to make sure that just like in our push up that we showed before, your butt's not up in the air because okay. then your body's not directly against gravity. You want a flat, straight line from toe to neck. All right. Okay. Now, if that's too tough, and the thing is, you just want to hold it. It's an isometric exercise, meaning no motion, no contraction. How long are we talking about holding this? <laughs> you can, I mean, I can hold this till the cows come home. No, I'm just kidding. You want to hold it, you know, try to do it in sets of 30 seconds, okay. maybe 40 seconds if that gets too easy. Okay. If you want to regress it a little bit, you simply come down onto your knees. You're still, you want to make sure that your body's in a straight line. Yeah. Once again, butt not back in the air. Right. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you want to make sure that everything is in alignment. So if you're just starting out, you want to do it on your knees first exactly. and then kind of work up to that. Absolutely. Because okay. gravity is not as big of a factor in that one. And people right. at home, if you have not tried it, it may look like nothing. You say, oh, she's practically laying on the ground. That is one of the hardest things you will, if you're doing it correctly and you're holding it in, Absolutely. it is incredibly difficult. And if it's easy, you're probably not in a straight line. Mm. Right. <laughs> Elizabeth has done this before, and I'm sure she has the six pack to prove yeah, it. She's our guru. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still working on it a lot. Um, and so I got something else yeah, there. Yeah, okay. basically, anytime you're, you add in some instability to the to the equation, it's going to make it a little bit harder. So you okay. can put this under your feet. You can just put it under your forearms, and it actually oh makes you stabilize a little bit. It's a, it's a little bit more intense. So you can add that in as well. So it actually works your abs harder because to stabilize yourself. Exactly. It's that muscle that you don't think about that you don't normally use, but it's very important in terms of keeping your body functional and making you able to do those other exercises that we do for aesthetics. All right, Leanne, thank you so much. We'll have to go home and practice, right, Elizabeth? Yes, yeah. in the privacy of our home. Yeah, We're exactly. going to have a pop quiz next week, okay? okay? Watch okay. out. We look forward to it. We'll be back in just a moment with another check of weather. Thanks, guys. <laughs>